The title of my devotion today is Getting Coached Up. And the scripture lesson is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, which you have from God, and that you are not your own? When I was in middle school, I had a basketball coach that I truly respected. He had been a starting co a college player at Southern Methodist University. He was a great motivator. One of the statements he would regularly use was, Your body is a temple of the Lord. Then he would encourage us to get the right amount of sleep, eat well, and would challenge us not to smoke or drink. He was so good at spiritualizing his rationale for why we should take good care of our bodies. It made a lot of sense to the young me, trying to find out who I was and what I wanted to stand for as a person. Throughout the years, I've heard the body as the Lord's temple argument used both for good and ill. I just described a way it motivated me in my youth to take good care of myself. I've also heard it used as a weapon to inflict pain. My mother was obese, so I have always been sensitive to the plight of those who struggle with their weight. It is, an ama it is amazing the cruelty individuals with a weight problem often endure. Shaming is often thought to be a good way to motivate people to lose weight. Spiritualized cruelty was used by Christian people to chastise and shame overweight people. One example of this spiritualized cruelty was the uh, accusingly, to accusingly remind an overweight person that your body is a temple of the Lord, insinuating that they are failing God uh, by carrying the extra weight. What extraordinary guilt and pain. Not only does an overweight person struggle with the physical discomfort from excess weight, not only does the overweight person have to struggle with the murmurs and chides of the insensitive, but now the person must somehow come to realize their weight as an offense to Almighty God. No wonder so many overweight individuals struggle with a poor self-image, loneliness, and other emotional pain. When you talk about others, always try to respond with empathy and compassion. Shame is a poor motivator. The medical field is finding more and more that weight issues have less to do with a lack of self-control and more to do with a number of psychological and other issues beyond the control of the person. Today, pray for people that struggle with their weight. Pray that our society will become more compassionate and respectful of all people. Pray that we will no longer view those who are considered overweight to be, ironically, somehow less than. We should be coached up to treat our bodies as a temple, affirming and accepting the bodies we were given. We should also be coached up to affirm and accept other people's bodies as blessed, without rude judgments or shaming. When we do that, all people will be better able to fulfill God's call for their lives and do so with happiness and joy.